Hello folks and welcome to the Vertigo Tea Party and let's try Fractured Soul. It is by Endgame. It's releasing the fourth quarter of 2013 for $9.99. Windows only right now. It was actually available originally on the Nintendo 3DS eShop. It does support game pads and it will be available on GOG.com and Amazon. I'll put links to all that I do have links to in the description below the video. Uh, it's also going to be on Steam. Hopefully it's right now in Steam Greenlight. And again, I'll put a link so that you can go vote for it on Steam Greenlight and get it on the Steam store. Currently, I do not believe there is a demo. So let's go ahead and hop into a game I've already played. I've played about 45-ish minutes. And I am playing with a controller. I've tried with the keyboard and uh, the keyboard. There's no mouse, uh, anything. You don't really need the mouse for this game. And I definitely prefer the the uh, the controller over the keyboard. It gives me more control over my jumps. This is a platformer with a unique twist, and I'll show you that in just a second. But yeah, I do like the controls on the. They're using the controller. I can't talk today, but I think the pa the keyboard is passable. So uh, I'm gonna start on. Let's see. I'm gonna start on this level. So the trick in this game is that there's actually there's basically alternate universes is from what i could tell so you see at the bottom i have a fully modeled colored well model and at the top you just kind of have a blue outline so i can switch between those at any time let's go ahead and kill that guy as far as our moves we can run left and right we can crouch we can jump and we can shoot that's pretty much all we have for moves we do a, a jump double jump in the form of a rocket boost on our second jump so right now, there's really no need to switch. So we get here, when we look at the bottom of the screen, it's like, oh, well, I can't progress. And it, as you can see, our top figure cannot be damaged. So what I can do is switch. And now, of course, this guy shoots at me because I'm a threat. And now we use this platform and this ladder to move on. So the premise here is that there are, again, there's multiple realities here that have been fractured, if you will. And you are, I guess, the same person in both, but you're splitting your soul between the alternate universes. Not 100% sure on what's going on. As far Again, as far as the story, there are a little bits that it's trying to feed you and tell you what's going on. But I haven't, don't know all the details, but that's what I have gathered so far. It's been a fun little platformer, platformer so far. Now, here's where it gets a little fancy spancy. Uh, these things, I think, will kill you automatically, so obviously we don't do want that. And you'll notice the walls are a little off. So I can run until I'm about to hit it and then switch. You just keep switching. Ta-da. So these platforms actually will... are timed. You can see the four dots. When I jump on them, they'll start to take down. Like that. So we don't want to miss a lot of time. Oh, we better switch. It, most stages start off a little bit easier. Now that one enemy, I didn't have a chance to really show you, but that one enemy in the back is an interesting one because it looks like it has a shield of some kind. So if you start shooting it, it brings the shield up so you can't do it damage anymore. You have to switch to the other soul to hit the other alternate universe version. So some really interesting mechanics. I gotta say, it's taken me a while to wrap my head around it. I might look like I'm doing okay now, but uh, once we get some of the harder stuff, I struggle a bit and I still get a little confused switching between looking at the top and the bottom does throw me off a bit now if you look at the top there top screen there's a little blue arrowhead looking thing that's a bonus item if you get those it increases your score at the end of stages and if your score is high enough per what the game says you can actually unlock various uh, bonus levels so of course you can't get it with your your I guess shadow self if you will so you have to switch, but they don't have anything to hold on to. So what we need to do is jump, switch, jump, switch, and then jump again so we can switch back. So the obviously the those are not necessary, but I do try to get all of them. Oh, there's another secret one. So I'm going to wait till we jump back down. Oop, hit too much. Sometimes I spaz out and I keep switching between dimensions a little too quickly. There are also shoot 'em up levels, and I will be showing one of those off shortly. I'll probably show one more normal level off after this. Oh, wasn't paying attention to the other screen. I think that guy was taking a nap. Now he's napping forever. 
Uh, we want to switch over here, grab the railing here. Hopefully this makes sense. I don't think it's too complicated, but without me saying, okay, I'm switching now, I'm switching now. You can kind of see why I am switching when I'm switching. But like I said, when stuff is going on, it can be pretty hectic switching back and forth. Ooh, ooh that was close. Okay, I'm not sure. Now this is, I remember this definitely gets a little. As you can see, I got the secret item there, or the bonus item. We'll call it bonus, because it wasn't really secret. They're pretty, most of those items are out in the open, but often difficult to actually get, which I'm okay with that. I don't know why I didn't grab that ladder, but there you go. Kill that. Luckily, the turrets only take one hit. I'll switch over. Oh, ah. Yeah, sometimes, again, I do spaz out a bit with the swapping back and forth mechanic. So we need to, we're going to time it so that the turret isn't shooting us and get rid of him. Grab this middle ladder. Oop. So, again, see, sometimes I look at the wrong screen and I get hit by stuff like that, especially on ladders for some reason. I'm really bad about it on ladders. Oh. Gonna go higher. Take this stupid turret out. There is a normal mode and a hardcore mode. He repeat he the developer who contacted me said that the version on the DS was quite difficult, so he added a normal mode and then a hardcore mode for those who want that extra challenge. I'm gonna guess that the enemies are just harder to kill in that one. So we need to get over to that ladder, but we got this thing in the way, so we need to jump. Grab this ladder, do the same thing here. That was pretty close, actually. I almost fried myself on, eh, on the thing. It's also kind of hard to talk and do this at the same time. That's why sometimes I'm kind of be a little quiet. I had to switch over to get past the, the gate and then come right back over. So that when you reach the door, that's the end of the stage. I think the next stage is actually very short. So I think I will actually show that off here real quick. That was blame, I think. Yes. Few things. The buttons aren't super in uh, are not super intuitive. So, for example, on the keyboard, jump. You can also make your guy dance. But actually, by the way, also the music is quite good. I like the music so far. Anyway, the jump button is like Z or X, and I would prefer it to be jump. If nothing else, I would like it so. Maybe in the final version, we can actually remap our keys. Another quick note about the controls. On the controller, if you're using an Xbox controller, the, I'm sorry, I'm actually using a PS3 controller, so I have to actually think about it. The B button is jump, but the shoot button is X. So it's up and across from the, sh from the jump button, which is a bit weird for me. I think the jump button can stay as a, but I think the B button, I'm sorry, the, the jump button should stay as B, but make the jump button A. It's not a big deal, and I've gotten mostly used to it by now, but I feel like the the A button would be much better. Also, in the menus, B is confirm instead of A. Just kind of a note, like normally the green A button is confirm. Anyway, so this, as soon as I do this, it's gonna kick off that, so we have to get going. Now, the thing here is we've got this giant wall coming after us. And I realized I missed that hidden item. We had this giant wall coming after us. And here's one of the first times that the two different worlds are actually different. At the top, you'll notice when I switch down there, I go very, very slow. But in this one, I go fast. So I want to stay in the bottom world as much as possible. So as soon as I get past the spikes in the bottom, I switch. And you can see that was a very short world. Now there is going to be, let's see, there's, he said there's five different worlds, each with a different trait. For example, one of the worlds has reverse gravity. So on the top, you will fall up, and then on the bottom, you'll fall down, or whatever it is. And then in total, there's 30 levels. So six levels in five different worlds. And again, the worlds each have a different trait, which will mix up the switching back and forth mechanic. So lastly, I want to show, then you can see kind of the story background there. We'll go to it right this second. And oh, I started the 
the tutorial level. There's really no reason to show you guys this. Um, let me, and unfortunately there's no way to quit the level as far as I can tell. So let me finish this level and I'll pick you guys back up. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show off. Well, this will be the last level I'm going to show off is the shoot em up level. Now, it needs to be said right off the bat, I do not, nor have I ever, liked shoot em ups. So I am automatically going to be biased against these levels. And by the way, if you can't tell, every single level has the switching back and forth mechanic. So the first thing I thought was because the enemies tend to come in waves, like they all tend to come on one side or they all tend to go on the other side. I thought, well, why don't I just like switch to the side with almost no enemies and don't worry about it. Well, if you'll notice my health bars on the bottom right, or I'm sorry, just on the bottom of each screen. First of all, notice they're separate. Like one, one will have more health than the other at any given time. Like right now, the bottom right has less less health than the bottom left. But if I shoot enemies, you'll see I get my health back. So to keep you from kind of cheesing the system, it's. I, mean, I think I need to switch back here. You actually lose health over time, and we definitely need to kill those. Okay, now we're gonna run into why I do not like these stages at all. Again, first of all, I don't even like shoot ups, period. Secondly, uh, if there's checkpoints, they are few and far between. Uh, Cause I've gotten pretty far in this stage and I end up having to redo it. Like I have not beat the stage yet. And frankly, I was getting so frustrated. I didn't want to bother doing it again. Cause one thing I have incredibly low tolerance for, especially when I'm playing in a genre I don't like already, is replaying things I've already done over and over and over again. I just have incredibly low patience for that. So no checkpoints in the shoot 'em up part uh, is a huge negative for me. Cause again, I don't like shoot 'em ups and having to replay this part over and over and over and over again, because I didn't know how to deal with one section uh, is frustrating as hell to say the least. I mean, I'm all about difficulty, but I don't like, again, because I mean, we've clearly beaten this part pretty handily. But if you make one slight move incorrectly, like running into a wall, or running into one of those, you're dead, like automatically. And again, remember, you have to keep shooting enemies to keep alive. So I have to shoot those turrets to keep alive, which I don't even understand why that's a thing. Okay, this one's falling. Yeah, and see, you run it. Well, hopefully there's a checkpoint now. No, see, it's put us all the way back. So I have to do all that other stuff again that I know how to do. And it just takes a lot of time. It's not fun for me at all. And I'm definitely not going to beat the stage on, on this uh, go around. But yeah, so I run into something. I didn't immediately know how to deal with it. And I died and now have to go all the way back. So that would definitely be the major negative that I have with this game. And unfortunately, there's no way to, to cut out. The platforming parts seem really cool at first. I was like, eh, this is kind of a weak gimmick. But then when I started to see some of the cooler setups that he had as far as the level design, I actually liked, liked it. I, I liked having to switch back and forth. And, and it feels like once you get the hang of it, it'd be a lot of fun, especially further on in the game when you have to do some of the harder puzzles and you get weird variations of worlds like with the reverse gravity and all that so that's that part seems cool i'm just absolutely positively not a fan of this part at all because this seems to be more memorization trial and error i mean obviously it was possible to have avoided that death but i had a very short time to figure it out and because i didn't i have to play through all this all over again but yeah, overall, um, let's see if I, how far I can get on this stage. Let's see. Let's switch. Because I've already forgotten how this is set up. Because you also have to focus on killing these turrets. Okay. Because I will tell you, it is really frustrating. Oh, looks like that was the last part. Okay, well, we actually did manage to get it. So, oh, and I guess your points is based on your uh, how many kills you get, which that makes sense. But yeah, that is Fractured Soul. Overall, I really like it. The, the big things that I like about this game are 
the the puzzle elements the swapping back and forth gimmick again at first i was like oh i'm not really not really a big fan of that but i gotta say it grew on me especially when he really started to up the difficulty level on getting part past certain parts having to jump and switch perfectly and avoid enemies i really like being able to use the swap to avoid bullets too so like if you're in a tight corridor and an enemy shoots at you, you can do just like he did there in the demo. That's not me, probably it's just the demo playing. Uh, you can actually just use that to quickly dodge the bullet. I think that's really cool. It's a fun mechanic, and especially for $9.99, if you like platformers, absolutely pick this up. Like I said, the big negative is the shoot 'em up part. I realize a lot of people out there love shoot 'em up, so we'll not mind the shoot 'em up levels that are put in. And I probably wouldn't mind as much if there were checkpoints. Uh, again, I just hate doing things over and over. That's the huge negative for me. Overall, though, uh, I really like this game. The music's good. Graphically, it looks good. It conveys what it needs to convey. And it's just it's just a fun platformer, fun and challenging platformer. And again, it has 30 levels. The levels are pretty short. And, you know, I if I had to just completely shoot in the dark, guess to go from beginning to end on normal difficulty. Maybe four hours, four or five hours, again, on normal difficulty. And that's if you don't bother with the hidden items, you just go straight to the end. I would say about four-ish hours because I've, I beat about six levels in roughly an hour. But, but again, if you're the type who wants to go through, replay it on hard mode, you want to get all the hidden objects, I think you could get your $9.99, $9.99 price out of this game. So yeah, definitely check this out. Again, it's not available just yet. It's going to be coming in the fourth quarter of 2013. Go ahead and vote for it on Steam Greenlight. Uh, if it doesn't get greenlit by then, again, you can buy it on Amazon or on GOG, which again will also have be linked below. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Leave a like if you like my video it helps me out a lot and if you'd like to see more of these previews just subscribe thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time